Hello, I'm Dr. Bivik Shah. I'm a plastic surgeon in Columbus, Ohio, and today we're going to spend some time talking about liposuction versus tummy tuck and which one to have. Let's spend some time talking about what liposuction will do and what a tummy tuck will do to help you achieve your goals. Liposuction is really designed to make things smaller and make things shaped a little bit better. Liposuction really doesn't change the overall look like a tummy tuck would. That's why a tummy tuck is, does more, is more than liposuction and generally in plastic surgery when things are more or do more they require a little bit more recovery like a tummy tuck would. Liposuction makes things smaller by literally sucking the fat out and that's why the recovery is smaller because it does less. And in tummy tuck we're removing skin, we're removing fat from underneath the skin, we're tightening your muscles, we are tightening the groin area, shaping your sides. As you can see that does so much more and that's why the recovery is a little bit more also. I get a lot of patients asking me how do I get rid of these stretch marks? Can I use laser? Can I use creams? They've, and so many of my patients have spent countless dollars in creams, lasers and other treatments to try and get rid of stretch marks. Fortunately the best treatment that works all the time and works fabulously is a tummy tuck. In a tummy tuck all the stretch marks from your hairline at your groin to your belly button and sometimes even a little bit above your belly button will be completely gone because they're cut out and they're completely out of your body. So there are lots of different types of liposuction available today. There's smart lipo, there's power assisted liposuction, there's tumescent liposuction, and then there's ultrasonic liposuction. At the Columbus Institute of Plastic Surgery, we have smart lipo, we have tumescent liposuction, we have power assisted liposuction, and all of these methods really do very similar things. They're doing something to break up the fat and then something to take the fat out of your body. So smart lipo uses a laser to break up the fat, basically kind of heat it up and make the fat explode in tiny little things on the inside of your body. Power assisted liposuction breaks up the fat by basically using a mechanical motor so it smashes the fat cells and then they're sucked out. Tumescent liposuction, you're usually using the brute strength of the surgeon to break up the fat and then the fat is sucked back out. Unfortunately, there's a lot of marketing involved with the types of different liposuction, but really they all do the same thing and they all have the same results. The differences between the different types of liposuction including smart lipo, power assisted liposuction, and tumescent liposuction is really where in the body you use it and for what reason you use it. For example, if you have a person that's had liposuction in the past and for whatever reason they need to have liposuction again, smart lipo or power assisted liposuction works a little bit better because they have a lot of scar tissue and sometimes that's a little bit hard to break up. But for the majority of my patients, 95% of my patients that are first time liposuction patients, this is the one and only time they're ever going to have liposuction. Any of these methods work equally well. The incisions are tiny with all of the methods. You don't need general anesthesia for any of these methods. You can be awake, you can have twilight anesthesia, and if you wanted to, if you're just not ready mentally to be awake, then you can also have general anesthesia. The recovery tends to be small. It's, the recovery tends to be about three to five days depending on how much you have done, how many areas you have done, and how much fat is removed. Meaning if you have a very small amount of fat removed, you may be back to work in a day or two. If you have a lot of fat removed, you may take a whole week or close to a week to get back to work. Oftentimes I see patients that are really troubled by an area and they're not quite sure if there's a solution, if they can have liposuction to that area. The good news is you can have liposuction just about anywhere there's fat on the body. Chin liposuction is fabulous, belly, the back, the upper back, the buttocks, the thighs, the calves. Just about anywhere that you feel that there's some fat that's there that you just have had a hard time getting rid of through dieting, exercising, or it's genetic, liposuction will work fabulously. One of the great things about liposuction is that 
the fat can be removed from one part and then we can actually take that fat and put it into another part where we may need it and that's called fat grafting. One of the best places to do that is somewhere on the face. We can take fat and then make it more full on the face wherever we may need it. Some common example areas would be underneath the eye, the lines that people get from their nose to their mouth, also another place that is very popular is to make the buttock shaped the way you want. Sometimes people want their buttock to be bigger. Sometimes they want it shaped better. The good part about fat grafting is we can do both. We don't necessarily have to make it bigger, but we can, or we can shape it better. And what I mean by that is sometimes people want a better slope at the top, better shelf at the bottom where it attaches to the thigh, and a fuller, rounder bottom that looks better in clothes and bikinis and jeans. And that's the best part about liposuction is that fat that we take out, we can actually put right back in and get one part, the liposuction part, to look perfect, but then we can actually take another part and use that fat to make that look perfect also. Okay, well let's spend a few minutes talking about the different types of tummy tucks out there. There's two main types. There's a mini tummy tuck and a full or regular tummy tuck. And both of these operations are wonderful, but they have to be used in the right person at the right time. And I can help you sort that out when we have a consultation. We'll examine you and then we'll discuss together which one of these operations is best for you. But first, let me discuss a little bit of detail about the two different types of operation. And when when they're useful and when they're not. So here we have just a little diagram and this this little scar here is, would be for a mini tummy tuck. So keep in mind that one of the big differences between the two is the size of the scar. In a mini tummy tuck the scar is about the size of a c-section scar. In a full tummy tuck the scar is from hip to hip. And the reason the size of the scar is important is because that lets me determine how much skin I can remove. So whenever I make a scar, I can only cut out skin in the shape of a football so that it closes up nice and in a straight line where you want it. So if this is the size of your scar, about the size of a c-section scar, we can make, I can cut out about this much skin so it's about half of the skin from your hairline to your belly button. Now, if we make the scar longer, like this, then I can cut out all the skin from your hairline to your belly button and sometimes above, and that's how we get rid of all the stretch marks in between. That's how we tighten the sides, and that's how we give you more of an hourglass shape, as you can see here. And because it's a bigger incision, I can tighten the muscles on the inside. So again, the mini tummy tuck would remove about half of the skin from your hairline to your belly button. The full tummy tuck would remove all of the skin from your hairline to your belly button. And that's why a full tummy tuck gives you a lot more. So a mini tummy tuck is best for those patients that have a little bit of loose skin maybe after pregnancy, maybe after a little bit of losing weight, but a tiny amount that just pinching at the bottom will show you that your belly looks the way you want it to. A full tummy tuck is for people that have a lot more skin. Sometimes they have a little bit of skin or a lot of skin over their belly button that they want to improve. They have a lot of stretch marks and their belly is just not the shape and size that they want it to be. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Dr. Bivik Shah. Please call me for a private consultation so we can discuss all of your plastic surgery needs.